Hey guys, my name is Kelsey. And I'm Becky. And we are the Star Girls. Today we have a DIY pillow DIY for you. And we personally want to do this because <laughs> this couch has been looking a little plain. And we bought pillows and then it was just white pillows. Yeah. And now, now we're, we're in a good place now. Yay! So we're going to teach you how to make a DIY pillow case, mm -hmm. which we made with the chevron. Just it's kind of a simple... Simple pillowcase. You know. We'll show you. And then this is a DIY, like, screen print, I guess I want to call it. Yeah, fabric painted it, but using a stencil. So we'll also show you how to do that. They're both so super easy, and like I'm in love with how they turned out. You don't even know I love them so much. Urban Outfitters, anyone? Yeah. I feel like I have seen this exact pillow there at one point. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, we will show you how we did it. So for this, you're going to need a pillow. Uh, this is a 20 inch by 20 inch pillow from Ikea, and it was about seven bucks. And we're also gonna need some fabric. We use this yellow chevron from King Textiles if you are in the Toronto area. But you can obviously go to any fabric store and get any fabric you want. Start by laying out your fabric and put the good side facing down. And we're just going to draw on our measurements. So for your measurements, you're going to need to take the width and add an inch for a seam allowance. And that brought us to 21 inches. And for the length, we're going to times our pillow length by two and add eight inches, which is our overlap for our pillowcase, which brought us to 48 inches. And depending on your pillow size, if you're using a smaller pillow, just make sure you adjust the overlap amount by the size of your pillow. So once you've measured and cut out your fabric, you are just going to take the short sides and fold over half an inch and pin. This is going to be your hem. And just sew up along these lines. Next, you're going to lay your fabric with the good side up and place your pillow in the middle. Then we're going to wrap the fabric around it. Then we're going to pin on the sides where the two edges overlap. Make sure your wrapping is pretty tight here so that your pillowcase isn't too loose when you go to put it on after. Then just take out the pillow and pin up the sides. And sew these two sides up. And then you can go ahead and flip it inside out and your pillowcase is all done. For our pillow stencil design, you're going to need some freezer paper, and I know you've probably never heard of this, but it can be found in the wax paper slash tin foil aisle of the grocery store, and it's basically used to stop freezer burn on like meats and stuff. So we're just going to cut off a size that fits our design. You're going to need to print out your design. This design we just made in Word just by typing out the font, and we've actually linked this in the description below. It's on our blog, so if you guys want to print out the same design, you are more than welcome to. Freezer paper has a matte and a shiny side, and the shiny side is the one that will stick to your pillow eventually. So we're going to start by putting our shiny side down and taping down our template. We're going to put little balls of tape in between each of the letters and just kind of any negative space that you have just to make sure that the template sticks down while we're going to cut it out. So next we're going to get an X-Acto knife and just cut out all of the letters. Also, you're going to want to make sure to keep the insides of any of the letters, like the D or the O, because we're going to need to use those later. Once you're done, remove your paper template and any of the tape from the freezer paper. With the shiny side of the freezer paper down and on top of a towel, we're going to iron the freezer paper stencil onto our pillowcase. Make sure you iron the middle pieces of the letters into place. Next, we're just going to insert any piece of cardboard into the pillowcase so that we make sure our paint doesn't leak through. So for paint, we chose a gold fabric paint and we're going to use a sponge to apply it. So the best way to do this is to sponge on the paint, but this will kind of leave a rough texture. So we're gonna go back and just smooth it out with the sponge, being sure to not go against any of the stencil lines because we don't wanna get underneath the stencil. We did two coats of the gold fabric paint. And once it's done, you can peel off the freezer paper. This stuff is great because it doesn't leave any residue when you peel off the stencil and it creates the perfect seal for when you're painting. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. So it's super easy and there's so many different designs you can do, like we had to really pick 
a quote to put on this. It was hard. There's so many cool things you can do, but mm -hmm. I'm sure there's lots of time. Like, imagine even just like a pineapple, like anything. Anything. And like, the good thing about this is it was so easy that we could just switch it out whenever we wanted. Like, new pillowcase next week? Sure, no problem. All the pillowcases. Yeah, I think that's gonna happen. It's just like a pile of pillowcases, we switch it out. <laughs> like, iPhone cases? <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, so Hello, that's Kristen. the new thing. That's the new thing. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys even noticed, we did like our little TSG logo thing here with the hammer and the scissors, and it turned out awesome. My fave. And again, this Good Vibes um, design will be up on our blog. We'll post that for you guys, so if you want to print it out, you can do it nice and easily. And also, if you guys do actually make any of these pillowcases and have your own designs, send them to us on Instagram, because I love seeing when you guys do our DIYs. It's really exciting. <laughs> Instagrams are in the description box below. Along with Twitter. At Kelsey Merlis, at Becky, Becky Lynn. Lynn. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. I don't know. Everything great. All right, so write us in the comments what you guys are gonna make for your pillow, like what quote you can put on. There's so many cool ones out there. We saw one that said, it was be bold or italic, never regular. regular. So imagine that with like bold writing and then italic writing and then regular writing. So cute. I right. think that's what I'm gonna do next for sure. All right, thanks guys for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.